What's up everyone? My name is Lauren and I'm a naturalist with Nebraska Game and Parks. You are watching week 11 of Wild What's Up. 11 weeks of you guys asking me questions and me answering them on film. If you have a question you would like to submit to this series, make sure to email ngpc.wildwhatsup at nebraska.gov. Additionally, you can comment below and I'll get your questions answered. This week, we are talking all about those colorful insects flocking to blooming blossoms all across Nebraska. You guessed it, butterflies. There are 206 species of butterflies all over the state of Nebraska. From the hackberry emperors to the two-tailed swallowtails, this week we break down all of your brilliant questions about butterflies. Okay, so our first question is from Damarion. Damarion is from Valentine, Nebraska, and his question is, what makes butterfly wings so colorful? Well, it turns out that a butterfly's wings are made out of a thin structure, um, it's a protein actually, called chitin. Their wings are so thin, you can even see through them. However, layered on this chitin are thousands of modified scales that reflect light. These scales are the reason we see the colorful patterns and colors. The scales are very fragile and sometimes flake off on flowers or plants. In fact, their family name, Lepidoptera, is actually Latin for scaly wing. It is because of these scales on their wings that they get their family name from. The Lepidoptera family also includes moths, whose wings are also made out of chitin with really thin, fine scales over the top of it. Our second question of the day is from Esteban. Esteban is from Lexington, Nebraska, and his question is, how do butterflies taste? Right, they don't really have tongues, so to say. And do they even really have mouths? Great question. Let's dig into this a little bit. So funnily enough, butterflies actually taste with these small taste receptors on their feet. These receptors are kind of like taste buds, except 200 times stronger. Most butterflies eat through a straw-like appendage called a proboscis, so they cannot really bite or chew. They use the taste receptors on their feet to identify if plants are good for laying eggs on and say they're suitable for growing their caterpillars. So if you are a butterfly, you could taste a delicious pizza just by say, tap dancing on it. Okay, so we know how butterflies taste and we know what makes their wings so colorful. So let's move on to our third question. Our third question of the day comes from Louise. Louise is seven years old and is from Lincoln, Nebraska. Hey Louise. Louise's question is, how do I attract butterflies to my yard? That's an awesome question. I'm sure lots of people would like to attract beautiful butterflies to their yard, but how do you do it? Well, there are specific things that you can plant in your yard that butterflies will be attracted to. The best way to attract butterflies is by planting native flowering plant species. Many butterfly species depend on specific plants to lay their eggs on and seek these plants out. For example, monarchs lay on milkweed, fritillaries almost always lay on violets, and swallowtails lay on lots of different plants that are in the dill and parsley families. Not only plants, but there are even trees and herbs that host butterfly eggs. So basically, you need to do your research. What kind of butterflies do you want to see? What kind of plants do those butterflies like? And then make sure you plant those in your yard. Butterflies are so important to our ecosystem as they are integral pollinators in our environment. They are the reason why we have certain plants, trees, herbs, and even grasses. Butterflies do so much for their environment and the least we can do is help them by planting some of their species that they like in our backyards. So next time you're landscaping your yard, think about native plants and what you could plant that could help a butterfly. Remember, we have 206 species of butterflies that you could see in Nebraska. So this weekend, maybe if you're looking for something fun to do, go out and look at the flowers. What butterflies do you see and what species can you identify? Okay guys, as always, make sure you email any questions you guys think of to ngpc.wildwhatsup at nebraska.gov. Once again, my name is Lauren and I'm a naturalist with Game and Parks. Stop out and see us sometime. In the meantime, keep thinking, asking questions about nature, and I'll see you out there.